So I am super excited to be filming today's video because it is officially my first collab video with another YouTuber. The YouTuber I'm collabing with is Heather from Crazy Beautiful Makeup. I will leave a link down below to uh, Heather's YouTube channel, her blog, her social medias, all that so that you can check her out. But if you're coming over from Heather's channel, hello, my name is Katie and welcome to From My Vanity. Today we're going to be sharing our top five beauty fall must-haves. You didn't know fall is my favorite time of the year. I love uh, the cooler weather. I love the smell in the air. I love the leaves turning. Uh, they're beautiful array of colors and I love wearing scarves. So I am so ready for fall to be here. So I kind of went through my beauty collection and was like, okay, what products do I find myself reaching for once fall is like here? Um, and there were definitely some products that just jumped out to me that I realized when I was looking at my collection for this uh, video that I reach for these almost every fall. Like I use them throughout the year, not to say I never use them, but when it's fall time, I find myself just reaching for them a lot. So those are the products I'm going to be sharing with y'all today. So the first product I had to share is this Lorac uh, Buildable Blush in Chroma. I went hard with this product last fall. I It's just this stunning, beautiful shade and I, it's picking up a lot lighter um, on camera. It's a lot deeper in person and it's just that really beautiful kind of deeper mauve tone and I reached for it almost daily last fall. I was just constantly going back to it and just uh, loving how it looked on my cheeks. Now normally, I'm sure you guys can tell from my videos, I'm very subtle when it comes to blush. I just like a really natural, almost not there blush. I mean there's some days I just skip the blush altogether and do some contour and I'm done. But so I don't like much of a blush. But in the in the fall, I do find that I do like you to see the blush on my cheeks. I like it to be a little more deeper, a little bit more noticeable. And last year, this was a blush I was reaching for. It's a really gorgeous matte formula, extremely, extremely pigmented and very soft, very easy to blend. Um, you need a very light hand when going into this or you will get clown cheeks. But yes, I really, really, really like these blushes from Lorac Cosmetics. All right, next up is an eyeshadow palette that uh, I reached for every fall without fail for the past two or three years. And it is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I even did a look, and I posted it during the fall, I did a face of the day type of look um, on my blog. I'll leave it linked down below, but it was one of my favorite looks I created with this palette that year, and it was just so fall inspired. But just something about this palette and these very coppery, goldeny tones, the, the warmer tones, I just really, really, really like the looks that I get from this palette. So definitely, I could not do a top five fall favorites without including the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette because it is one of my faves. Okay, so next up I have a lipstick and this has been three years in the running for favorite fall lipstick shade. And it is from uh, Laura Cosmetics. It's their Alter Ego line in the shade CEO. And now I know this lipstick doesn't really look like it's been well used and abused, but it's because when I was visiting my family last fall, uh, I had brought this and was wearing it. And my mom was, my mom likes the same color lipsticks that I do. So she saw me wearing it. She was like, oh, can I wear that lipstick too? And so she was wearing it while I was there. And so when I left, I was like, just keep it mom. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a replacement. So I went and repurchased it. That out of the way, let's just talk about how beautiful this lipstick is. It is a gorgeous, very deep mauve tone. And when I think of nudes in the fall, this is what I think of. This might be extremely dark for you, but for me, when I want a nice nudie lip, this is what I go for. I don't know what it is about the fall time weather and just the clothes that I'm wearing and just how I feel and the makeup, how I'm doing my makeup, but this is like my go-to lipstick that I'm always pairing with my makeup looks. If you have not tried the Alter Ego uh, lipstick line from Lorac, I highly recommend it. They're very uh, smooth, very creamy, and they're very comfortable on the lips. And yeah, I just, I cannot recommend this lipstick enough. I find that I reach for and wear more uh, loose pigmented bronze glitter in the fall, like bronzy loose shimmers um, that just really make, make me think of autumn leaves on my eyes. Um, specifically, I know this has been uh, the past two years in a row, I have enjoyed Topaz from Osmosis and this is uh, a loose it's the most unique, the, the most unique product I've ever come across for my eyes. It looks like, um, I don't know, like 
it looks almost like coffee grounds, but when you take that, and I usually use my finger and I just touch it, I just need a tiny bit. So as, I don't know if you can see, but there's just all these little tiny particles, looks like little coffee grounds on my finger. And then I take it and I press it against, let me shut this so I don't dump it's all over the place. But you just go and you press it, it becomes this extremely foiled, wet looking shadow. And it is absolutely stunning on the eyes. I wore this two years ago. Uh, I think I received it initially as PR two years ago, and I wore this for Thanksgiving. Uh, I just, I mean, if you, you see, like, when you catch the light straight on, it looks like this champagne color, but then when you turn it, you get this bronzy shift to it. Oh, stunning. It's very unique and a little difficult because, like I said, it's that loose formula, but I find that in the fall, I, it's worth the hassle for me to grab this product and use it. Now, if you don't like the really loose, loose pigments, um, I also do uh, recommend the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I find myself reaching for Bronze Taupe and Amber Rush a lot in the fall the past two, three years. Um, they're really pretty shades uh, that just make me feel like fall. And the reason I recommend this if you don't like messiness is because it's a pressed type of loose glitter. So it still gives you almost as much intensity. I feel like this is a little bit more. Here, we'll swatch. Amber Rush is a bit more pinky toned than this other shadow. I should have done bronze taupe. It would have been a little closer, but. So it's just a little, it's not quite as wet looking. Well, I don't know. On camera, it almost looks the same, but in person, I feel like it's not that type of wet look that the Osmosis uh, color has, but it's still very pretty. And like I said, if you don't want to work with like loose products, which I can understand, it's just, it's more of a hassle and messy. So yeah, I really will put up with some mess and glitter and shimmer in order to get that really metallic foiled look on my eyes that just makes me think of autumn leaves. So that is definitely a fall favorite. Okay, so for my fifth product, I'm gonna kinda cheat and do two new, very new products to my collection, but two products that I know I'm gonna be reaching for a ton this year. Now all the other products that I've mentioned have at least been one or two years where I used it religiously in the fall as well as throughout the year, but you know, I was just really into them during the fall and I know I'm gonna be into them this fall. These two products I'm about to mention, I'm putting them in the fifth category because I haven't gone through a fall season with them, but I know I'm gonna be all over them this fall. There are these two products and we'll talk about the lip product first. Uh, this is Dose of Colors Mondays. Very vampy on the lips. And just that really pretty, it's like, it's so close to this, but it's a little bit deeper and just, you know, doesn't have that that pinkiness to it. It has more of the brown to it that I really like in the in the fall. And uh, I recently bought this, I wanna say maybe two months ago. But when I wore it, I was just like, oh yes. This is gonna be in my purse a lot this fall. It's gorgeous, it's really comfortable. I wanna do a wear test with the color, or with the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Um, it's on my to-do list, <laughs> we'll see because um, I think it's a really good liquid lipstick, but I've never like studied it for a day like I do when I do an eight hour wear test. But I think it's a really comfortable formula. It dries matte, it's pretty non-transferring, uh, which is good for my lifestyle. And yeah, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be, you're gonna see this a lot in the fall. All right, so last up, and I really feel bad saying this, but in case they ever bring it back, I do want to share my thoughts. And this is the ColourPop Yes Please palette. Um, I just bought this. I think they've restocked it four or five times. I hope they just make it permanent and stop playing with us. But um, if they do restock it, I highly recommend it. It's full of beautiful, warm colors that I just looked at this palette and I thought of fall. So I'm really looking forward to getting into the fall season and wearing these on my eyes. And uh, these really red tones, this uh, shimmer shade will be really pretty on the eyes in the fall. I mean, ugh, just... They just make me think of the, the fall leaves, you know, turning colors. So, yes, ColourPop Yes Please palette is going to be well-loved this year. And those are all of the products that I highly recommend. My arms are really messy right now. <laughs> um, yeah, those are my top five fall beauty must-haves. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of like what I gravitate for during the fall and then what I'm going to be gravitating for this fall. Also, don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what your fall favorites are. Do we have any similar products or is there another product that you go to every year for the fall that I need to get my hands on. 
You guys know I love fall. I think I've said it like a million times in this video. So definitely let me know down in the comments what products I need to get my hands on for this fall. Uh, make sure you go over to Heather's channel and check out her top five must-haves for the fall as well and tell her you came from me and tell her I said hi. And if you're coming over from Heather's channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around uh, if you like my content, my style, my personality. Uh, yeah, this is, this is me. So yeah, with all that said, thank you so much for listening and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.